Bonjour. I'm Nick Pierce of Object Matrix. I'm Carol Pijard, Sales Director at Newsbridge. We're here at the British Embassy to talk about hybrid workflow. Absolutely, organizations are looking to move to a hybrid workflow because they need to do more with their data. Their content has been locked up on LTO, in legacy platforms, in silos, available to only one or two departments or workflows. And that's not good enough in a non-demand world. People need to access content from anywhere. And the mix of hybrid with on-prem storage for performant access and cloud for collaboration and deep archive is the perfect mix. We can see more and more the broadcasters and the sports uh, industry looking at hybrid workflows for various reasons. Data sovereignty, internal regulation or even cost efficiency. What we can see as well that we need to have a pragmatic approach to it and really fit what their business requirements are as a technology providers. One of the approaches is for them to choose their own storage while creatives can connect to a cloud native um, user interface from anywhere in the world. So yes, we have seen uh, more and more organizations looking at valorizing their archive, either for internal production or as well for monetization. But that topic is really for you, Nick, to tell us what you think about that. Thank you, Carol. Basically, organizations uh, during the pandemic found that not only could they not create content, new content, they couldn't get hold of archive content because it was sat in a building uh, on LTO and people getting access during the pandemic just wasn't possible, they were physically restricted. So they can't afford for that to happen again. So they're looking at either replacing LTO or augmenting it with new technologies like object storage on-prem, uh, built in with hybrid workflows to the cloud. Having been to a few events, um, highly curated events in the community the last uh, few months, uh, we did see that the move and the mood music is more towards a hybrid approach than sticking all your data in one silo or another. By essence, a video is not searchable. It's a stream of bits. For users to search through their content, they need to add metadata to these assets. These metadata can be wrapped around the assets, such as technical metadata, location, etc. As the technology is moving on, we are now able to provide time-stamped metadata that actually describe what is, is inside the video. Combine this different type of metadata really allow the user to search and find any relevant moment in their asset while before they were looking for a needle in an A stack. Well, metadata is as important as the content itself because you know if you can't find it, you don't have it. It's really important that that metadata is portable. Uh, across MAM, DAM or PAM, on-prem or cloud storage, as it belongs to the customer, not to the vendor. Ensuring access to that metadata is really important, but in terms of being able to benefit from it, to be able to find content, that's really where Newsbridge excels. Mm -hmm.